Hi guys, and in this video, I'm gonna be talking about ND filters and why you need them if you're shooting video. So just for reference purposes, I'll be using the Sony 50mm, so f1.8. I've done a review on this uh, lens as well, so I'll put a link over here for you to click on that and watch if you wanna know more about this. So as you can see, when shooting video, there's about four or five things that are really, really important. Number one is your shutter speed. If you're shooting at 25 frames per second, you gotta do 25 doubled, your shutter speed then has to be at 150th of a second. If you're shooting at 100 frames per second, which is nice slow motion, you've got to double that and that's 200. So the next thing you've got to worry about is your f-stop and that will range from 1.4 to whatever you want, f22. And the higher it is, the, the less blurry your photos are going to be or your video is going to be. And the lower it is, the more you're going to have that nice blur when you've obviously set your focus etc this thing here in the middle this this is your metering and as you can see I'm at plus 2.0 but they're saying that yeah that's too high so normally you play with your ISO and your ISO is the sensitivity of the sensor and that can get either brighter or darker but you can see due to my settings I can't go any lower the lowest I can go is 200 and that's where you run into problems if you go higher it gets brighter but you do get these little particles and it's called noise and your photos and your video tends to look quite bad. So 200 is the lowest where I can go and that's where I should play with my aperture. I can make it a bit darker with that and you can see it goes to zero, which is nice. But then if I do want to get anything in focus like over here and blur at the background, it's not going to look very blurry and it darkens the whole shot, which isn't what I really want to do. But so now if I leave it at my lowest, which is F1.8, which is a nice blurry, uh, aperture to use. So next what I want to use is my ND filter and these are called neutral density filters and they range with different uh, settings as you can see this is an ND8 but there is loads of different NDs you can get so this is an ND8 so it's not the darkest but it's literally like sunglasses so as you can see there there's nothing there and I'm not putting this 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 is my my iPhone I'm using simply putting this in front of that the screen you can see straight away it brings the detail in. You see that? quite washed out you can't really see that there's a house outside the window as soon as you put this over you can see that information so that's what this is but now I'm going to flick it on the actual camera and I can show you even better what I'm talking about the roof tiles over here you can't really see them but once I place this on I'm just going to screw it on because it fits onto your thread you also have to remember they are different sizes so if you've got a 49 millimeter thread on your uh, lens you got to make sure you get a 49 millimeter filter and as you can see there, it has now brought in loads more detail. Yes guys, that's the video. I'll leave a link in the description where you can get this ND filter from. If you want to get a different one, that's up to you. But I definitely recommend getting a relatively expensive one. There are cheaper ones, but it's glass. And the more glass and the more things you put in front of your camera lens, the less quality you're going to have in your video. So make sure you're using a good quality ND filter and you'll be good to go. But yes guys, if you've learned something, give it a thumbs up. If you've liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, hit the notification button and all of that. And I'll see you in the next one. God bless.